Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of profits. Today, joined by Hey, Mike, the general of Goose. Yes. Hey. This is General. Hey. This is Buck. And we're drinking West Coast, best coast beers. Uh, we're drinking some North Park. And this is a fairly recent release from them. This was canned on the 20th of uh, February, making this less, not even four weeks old yet. And this is a can of their Brewer's Delight Citra Gang. A hazy double dry hop West Coast IPA with all citra hops. Uh, it's interesting. They've started to do this in, in, in California as well now. A lot of, well, it's been done for a while. Cellar Maker for a long time did hazy or West Coast IPAs that were hazy. And it, I'm guessing that could be a byproduct of all the hops they put in, or if they add some wheat or whatever, maybe yeast even. They were still clean beers. Uh, they were just slightly hazy. And this is the case with this one as well. And I know some brewers actually mm -hmm. get hazier beers when they use citra hops. <laughs> so it's all citra. It's double dry hop at 6.2% and features citra, regular citra hops, citra incognito, which is a liquid extract form, and citra cryo hops. So three different kinds of citra. Yes, it sounds nice. sounds real nice. So, want to mm. check it out? Yeah. I'm stuck on drinking some West Coast. It looks nice. Mm. It is like the hazy. It's not like as hazy as a New England IPA. No, no. But I mean, it, I mean when you poured it, it, it looked really uh, clear. Yeah, it's like the first few yeah. uh, parts of the pour was crystal clear. So I think yeah. a lot of the sediment has also settled in the bottom. Mm. But as we got further down the can, it got more and more hazy. So. Yeah, but let's see how it turns out. Whitehead, mm. let's check out the aroma. Let's do it. Oh, that smells really nice. It's really yeah. pineapple-y, this one. Yeah, it is. Like, interestingly, it's like, it's not super dank. It's really, there is some dankness, but it's really fruity pineapple. Yeah. Almost like pineapple candy. Yeah, yeah, it is. And and, and you can really smell That's the, definitely the, dank the, too. the citra as well. And yeah. there is some dankness as well. And it is like bright. Pin, yeah, pin bright. pin bright. Yeah. And like light crackery malt on the back. Like it's next to nothing. Mm. Like it just like smells like beers I want to drink all day. <laughs> like they still, also, this also still smells like a beer. Yeah. Like yeah. a lot of hazies yeah. these days are so, so supercharged with fruit that it doesn't smell like beer. Um, and that's not a bad thing necessarily, but something I just want something, I, or sometimes often I want something like yeah. this. This modern West Coast approach is so yeah, nice. You just know this is going to be great. Yeah. It's really zesty too. You said mm. citrus for yeah. sure. Like yeah. it's it's orangey, but it's also bright. There's yeah. like some zesty lemon or lime or something, mm. grapefruit. But the tropical profiles of citra are really shine in this, I think. Yeah, yeah. it does. It smells well, lovely. Yes. That's right. Cheers. Cheers. And thanks to Joe for the beer. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I want to drink this all day. I mean, I could, I could just almost chuck oh. this i kind of want to check this this is so refreshing are you shitting me oh yeah really well balanced bitterness mm. and massive citra flavor like really really like a showcase of citra hop mm. really bright quite yeah. snappy really pineapple i think i'm pineapple i'm getting more citrus on the flavor yeah, yeah. like orange and tangerine and it's and I, I love the bitterness in this. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's 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 so good. It's so well balanced. Yeah, yeah. It's not like like yeah. you remember back in the day uh, when beers had to be just so bitter that they scraped your tongue <laughs> out, like in two thousand ten or twelve yeah. or whatever. Like where it's like oh minimum one hundred IBUs. Yeah, yeah. Like we, we gotta go a, as high as a gentle bitterness that that is satisfying. Yeah, I think it's like I don't think I think it's like a balanced bitterness yeah. or maybe a. Uh, assertive bitterness like it's mm. not like it's kind of like in north german pilsner really because the beer yeah. is also finishes really dry it's yeah. it's a dry beer and it must I, i'm guessing it's around 50 to 60 ibus in yeah. terms of bitterness uh, but then i think that's also because you really want the hops to shine also the more bitter it gets the less you'll pick up of fruity yeah. hop flavors and, and it, it's mostly actually for me at least it's in the mostly in the aftertaste like when you just Get you drink it. Yeah, you actually really don't notice the the bitterness that much, yeah, and then it kind of lingers afterwards and yeah. and opens up. I think this really the, also the reason why we're getting so into these beers is also because we've had this renaissance with pilsners and lagers. There's definitely some connotations to that because it's such a crisp, crackery, light, malty backbone, mm -hmm. like in a pilsner beer. And also yeah. pilsners are dry and bitter most of most of the time. Um, so I think that's also why we're really digging these kind of beers yeah. and getting away from really heavy saturated or these really heavy sweet. 
uh, juicy beers. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, I think that they can often get a bit much, and they're hard to drink in the long run. Like this, if I had a six pack of this, I'd be so stoked. I mean, right, right now, if if uh, at least the way I feel right now, if this was the only beer I could drink the rest of my life, I would be pretty content. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd switch it out for hot food because I love it yeah, even more. Maybe, maybe but, a little, but, but you know, but these kind, at least this kind of beer. I, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's yeah. They're just so crushable, man. Yeah, and are. I and I there's it's funny because as I I've seen some people in Europe trying them and, and I, it feels like they have a slight harder time getting into it. They need a little bit of a push mm. because people in Europe in general, in general when they get these, they rate them lower. And I think it's just because they are expecting it says triple double dry all this. They're thinking hazies. They think this is gonna be like a massive juicy, crazy, intense. But it's not, you don't have all these fruity esters from yeast and all these things in these kind of beers. It's like all about hops really shining and like it's dry. I think you really more have to think of if you, if you want to compare it, like think of Pilsner meets a, a West Coast IPA or something like that. Yeah. Um, and that's being done in the West Coast as well. Brewers are now making West Coast Pilsners where they use classic German hops in the kettle and then dry hop with American hops. That sounds very nice. Sounds really nice. So... Uh, but yeah, this is fucking awesome. I don't think it's like their best is still, uh, one of the best West Coasters I've had from, from these guys is definitely um, the Hop Foo. Mm. But I think I like this more than the collab they did with, uh, oh, what was it called? Here Till Forever, the collab with Radiant. This is a little bit more saturated in flavor and a little mm. bit more bright. Uh, but I would also just have loved to have some more hops, like a mix of hops in there. But it's a cool, like, if they do this as a series, then Citra Gang, maybe Nelson Gang next, or <laughs> Mosaic Gang, to showcase, like, I, uh, different hops. I also think, yeah. like, they've done it before, like, they did the one we had, the Community mm. Guidelines with all Mosaic, and that's, like, one of the best flavor profile of pure Mosaic I've had in an IPA in a long time. Also, same goes for their Party Cup, their lager. It's just a brewery that's under the radar in Europe, and it shouldn't be. It should be on everyone's lips, if you like hoppy beer and, and dry beer. Mm. But also hazies, they make amazing hazies. But yeah, rating wise, 93, 94, I think this is really close to a world class West Coast IPA. Yeah. I will go even as high as 95, 90, 94, 95. Yeah. For me. Yeah. It's just banging beer. Mm. You can crush it all day. I love it. Mm. Mm. So yeah, if you guys had a chance to try North Park Brewers Delight Citra Gang, let us know what you thought of it. Damn fire stuff. Thanks a ton to Joe for helping us get a can. Well, we bought it ourselves, but Joe was kind enough to help with the shipping. So thanks a ton. And uh, yeah, if you guys already have this one, let us know what you thought of it. As always, once comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we are going to say cheers and slam some West Coast IPA, some Best Coast beers. Mm -hmm. And see you guys in the beer review. It goes down like milk. Mm.